Hallo. Dangan Rompa. Uh, I don't even know where to begin with this game. I, I know there there's stuff to be done on it. I, I kind of know the premise, but that's about it. Um, beyond that, like I, I, the premise, I, I believe, is that like there are kids trapped in a school, right? And they're slowly being like murdered or something. It's really fucked up. And there's a bear involved, which made me happy because you know I'm the bear. Um, so yeah. But beyond that, I have no idea what what what's happening. Uh, right. That being said, guys, if you put something in the chat, I've got I haven't got a second monitor right now, as you're well aware. My second monitor's fucked, so I've got it on my phone. Chat should work. But yeah. So if one of you could just send a message real quick, uh, and hope it shows up in the chat, that would be greatly appreciated. But anyways, let's jump in. New game. I'm using my keyboard because my controller is currently busted. So yeah, let's jump in. Uh, is this for voices? Is there voices in this game? Are there voices in this game? Hey, true Romanero. Thank you, my pal. Um, how's the sound? Does the sound okay? Uh, actually, before I do that, let's let's because I don't think you can check like change options in the game. Uh, so let's see if I can put the sound up for you guys. There are voices. Okay, there are voices in the game. Okay, there's an English dub and it sounds great. Good. Uh, then, for now, I will play it with English voices, so that I don't need to concentrate too much. Uh, we go. Ooh, who is that? That guy looks fucking beastly. Looks like he's gonna fuck me up, the guy on the right. Alright, let's go into a game. English, okay. Logic difficulty, so are there... Are there puzzles in this game? Gentle, kind, mean, action, difficulty. Okay, there's action sequences as well, okay. This is, uh... Alright, let's do this. Cutscene. That's a bit random, my hands are freezing. Logic puzzles like in Phoenix Wright. I've always wanted to play Phoenix Wright, man. Phoenix Wright looks awesome. I've been meaning to check out the anime for it as well. I've been told that's pretty good. What the fuck? Definitely tell this is Japanese, huh? It's so random. Oh, he did. So this is the bear thingy. Okay. Okay. Trigger, trigger happy havoc. So is this the, I think this is the first one. Oh! massive high school towers over all the buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Alright. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate you'll be set for life. See this is just a setup for, for bad things to happen already. Hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend to. You need to attend this school. One, you 
have to already be attending high school. Fair enough. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. I mean, I'm the best at being a bum. I mean, no ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted, okay, by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. So what's, what, what am I, is this who I'm playing as? What am I good at? Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Okay. As you can see, I'm nothing but hopeless average. Then how the fuck did he get in? I call hacks. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff. Oh, someone just tweeted. I had stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's most popular. In particular, I fucking hate people like that. I fucking hate them. Fuck. Pisses me off because you're trying to have a good conversation. Like, oh, so what about this back in here? Did you like that? And it's like, nah, I like the new stuff that's out. Uh, it's like, cool, cool. Even among the average, I'm completely average. So I can't. S so is he the best at being average? Is that what we're getting at right now? I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. Okay. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of the Academy, but ordinary hopes peak Academy. Oh, in front of the anything but ordinary. Okay, yeah. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got to be an overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Okay, um, just quickly guys, we're going to tab out real fast and double check something. Uh, let's go over here. By the way, the music for this game is fucking phenomenal. I'm loving it already. Uh, that one. Uh, bam. Apparently, my friend kind of knows them. I guess everything there is state of the art. Hope Speak only invites students who are truly elite in their field. This year's Ultimate Pop Sensation is going to be there. The Ultimate Baseball Pro is going to be there too. So jealous. I can't believe it. It's only for winners. Fuck. It's such a popular topic. There are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. It's a fucking powerful school. So prepare. So to prepare, I looked up some of these threads, and all I saw was talk about ultimate students who were way beyond your average high school. For example, what student coming is the ultimate pop sensation. Okay, I guess she's a high school girl who leads the singer, uh, who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. Fucking hell. Okay. Oh, that guy looks like he's gonna be a pain in the ass. He looks like he's gonna be one of those fucking, uh, let's do this and like rushes into things, you know? Is also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Four teams already ha uh, have their eyes on him. Okay. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. I see pictures of her everywhere. Like, people love this woman. She 
she's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate bank biker gang leader. Okay. Shit, okay. So it's not just like the ultimate professionally. Like if you run a fucking gang, you do it well, you're the ultimate at it, okay. You get into the, sh the school, that's fair. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs that everyone love the guy. And he's a teenager. Cool. Um, on top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, <laughs> okay, and the ultimate gambler. The ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I am. Or I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who had wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't think, stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I am the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. Uh, talent. But then, what about those new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Okay. Could they just be average students like me, without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. This kid has no self-esteem. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to become this ultimate high school? Uh, I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. Did he accidentally get accepted? Recently held a lottery to select one. Oh, okay, it's just randomly he got accepted. That's cool. As a result, you have been selected and we invite you to join us to be, as the ultimate lucky sh Okay, it's understandable. He's really lucky because he got in. I wonder how many people were in that lottery. They spelled it out as plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would uh, would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. It's fair. Let's go move this up here. But after, yep. But then, actually standing in front of the school, I started to feel lost, like I didn't belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. Oh, no, I can't die yet. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there. Uh, there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before, and I took my first step towards the main hall. Okay. Okay. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over there in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. Uh, the meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full f I fucking- I couldn't get there that early, man. I'd be that guy that wakes up at like half 7 and just rushes there. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, yeah. It makes sense nobody else would be here yet. I was so wound up I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just standing around waiting isn't exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that will help calm me down a little. I am a student here now. So, there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It will help me kill some time, if nothing else. I'm trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope Peaks Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. Why do I feel like that's not what he got? I've been roofied. My view came warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away at the mi and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting, and then spinning again. Oh. And the next moment, everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end.
At that point, I should have realised. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound fun at all. Welcome to despair. Oh. That's, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah? Yeah, let's overdo that one. Uh, yes. Yeah, I did play it for like five, ten minutes just to make sure uh, everything was okay. That was a long fucking time ago though, when I was going to stream like last year or something. Uh, uh, ugh. Nani? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Oh, this is pretty cool. Welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Use your mouse to adjust your aim. Okay. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. In Presto, you will investigate that object. WASD, just adjust your viewpoint. Or, you can press and hold the right mouse button and move the mouse across, okay? Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh, no. What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. Yeah, but it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I were to knock on it. Yep, definitely metal thick too. Very solid. Okay, so we've been kidnapped. I, I, I assumed this was going to happen, but I didn't think we'd be roofied. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? <laughs> that's a pretty good idea. You know, question the metal plates, not why they're there. That sounds right. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering in. Yep, that's what it's for. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I could still see a line on the roll. <laughs> Must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? Hey there, new kid. The next semester's about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. An orientation guide. That doesn't seem like an orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. So today is being your entire world. What the hell? It's just someone's idea of a job. Joke, but this seems like a pretty fucked up game. There's a TV. The school was funded by national government, so I guess it's sort of weird. Funded by na- Alright. The fuck. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it- You were just fucking roofied, man. What time is it? Jeez, I can't believe it's here. Oh. I was asleep for like 50 minutes. Okay. It was just after Sybil when I first got here, as it would have been almost an hour since then. So what might have I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Fortress Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really str This is fucking strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time. There might be other students there now. I believe the car somewhere pushing the R key. Let's just investigate this door real fast. Okay, so I can just click my way out as well. Oh. Uh, jeez, this hole is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. WASD keys to move through the hallways. Hold shift to run. 
Uh, also, you can push tab key to bring up a map. Okay. Tab key again to pause the map. How convenient. That is convenient. Okay, wait a minute. I need to give my mouse some leeway here. And let's just uh, increase the sensitivity real fast. Yeah, there we go. Despair Hotel. There's a hotel? I want to go there. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight. But anyway, I need to head to the mid-home. Man. I assume this is where I came from. These are just classrooms. I want to... I'm the kind of guy that wants to check every single thing in this game. Like it, when I play uh, RPGs and shit, I just want—I want to check everything. But don't worry, I know I'll just continue on with the story. I won't trigger you guys. I assume that's the main hall. Fuck! Sorry, sorry. My nature tells me to go this way. I have to. If you room slot. Fuck! Is this? I mean, it says keep out, that means go in, right? What? That seems like a fucking trap. What the fuck's this? Nurse's office. Bathrooms. Excuse me, one out. Okay, this game seems to be quite big, and I forgot there was a shift button. Fuck it. Let's go this way. By the time I got... Oh, that's the main hall. Fuck! What was the other place? Probably the principal's office. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone was already there. Whoa, hey! Oh. Another new kid? Fucking chair is fucking with me. Huh? Then you guys are all... Um... Trying to look at all these characters, man. Okay, is that guy in a? Sh don't, don't, yeah. fuck, stop it! We're that guy was in a skirt. Here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. Is that a fucking woman? Jesus. So counting him, that makes 15. fifteen. Seems like a good cutoff point. Seems like a good but cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Who are these fucking like? I'm trying to figure out who's her. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been hand-picked by the school. I looked around at everyone who had gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Hmm. How's it going? My name is Makoto Nagi. Naigi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened. And then, all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Huh? You two. Hmm. Curious or curious or... Mm hmm So strange. I need to clear beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. No shit! What are you talking about? Honestly, I have no idea what's going on right now. Got I don't it. think anyone does. Just a moment. There's somewhere else. Something else we must address. Listen to me! You're talking to suck Surely you were aware to being started. Yeah, I'm sure. To be late on your first day is on it. Fam! I was roofied! I must report you and you must accept your Fuck you! What? Yeah, thank you, fashionista woman. That's right! You want to stay calm. Uh, calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? What the hell? Now it's no time for frickin' introductions. Yeah, <laughs> what he said. Maybe it's, uh, but it may be a good, may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems. So I'm gonna be, like, my character Makoto is gonna be so out of fucking place, like, now. Because everyone else is gonna be like, I'm good at this, I'm good at this, I'm good at this. I'm lucky? I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah. It's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? We're still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So we guess it's a good chance, because I'm gonna get it. I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't really know what kind of people they are. Time to find out. 
I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at student, press left mouse to go. Okay. Each conversation is important to the overall story. Fuck! I'm going to suck at this. I suck at remembering things, guys. There are turrets. Before I talk to people, what? Why are there turrets? This gun, right? Well, can't do that. But there's no way that's a real gun, right? Man, I'm... Holy cow, what's with this huge metal hatch? It looks like the kind of thing you'd see in a secret military base or something. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Let's talk to the big guy. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname... The Alpha and the Omega! I don't mind. I'm not calling you that. I'll call you Hifumi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Romanero. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, by the way. True Romanero. True Romanero. I assume. Romanero? By the way... How much do you know about the world of 2D art? I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing a game with it. <laughs> he's a, he's basically a uh, otaku, right? Well, in that world, I am known for supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew it. I don't know why I thought the uh, fanfic creator was going to be a woman. I don't know why. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fanfic comics at a school festival. That event past the Tempo Legends. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I'd tainted the event. <laughs> How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty... It fucking is! However... The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. <clears throat> I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. All right, let me see some fam. For my work is filled with the deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend that. Should I do voices for these people? I feel like I should do voices. It's true, Roma Nero. Oh. True Roman Nero, that makes that makes more sense. That makes more sense. True Roman Nero. Should I do voices for these guys? I'm, I'm gonna. Why not? Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Yo. Okay, so he's he's like a surfer guy. Oh, but baseball star. I recognize that name. Oh, he's going his hair out. Okay, he played for the national high school champs at, as their cleanup hair, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is you seriously huh? oh what's wrong nothing i'm just surprised i figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all what were you expecting some kind of rich kid with a shaved head Sh shaved head no i was just expecting more of a you know sporty like sporty looking traditional baseball player type I will try. I will try to do voices. They might suck, but I will try. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Aw oh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head was... Uh, shaving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair. And I'm not gonna die back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, could I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced? And he's still his team stars? This team star player, he's some kind of prodigy. 
And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my own path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality or I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar, and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe, I, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. How am I gonna do a female voice? Like, there are a bunch of females in this game. How am I gonna do that? Okay. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizona. I look forward to getting to know you. She's the, uh, pop star, right? Yeah. I should get water when doing voices. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent, I can't quite place it. Guys get kinda pervy. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd been going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I don't know if I can do voices for women. I don't know if I can do that. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I I'm psychic. Huh? Is she actually psychic? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Uh, hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah. It must be hard, I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste your valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... S sorry just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through the i <laughs> A bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Y you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We could talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we could talk later. She, she's gonna be the quiet one, and I have a feeling she's gonna, just by looking at her, she's the psychic. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... Okay, she has no confidence. I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa. Oh, she's a writing prodigy, okay. Uh, official Kirin, I have... I have watched three episodes of Stanget, and um, I, uh, I I struggle with it, man. I struggle with it. Uh, sorry, I've watched one episode of Steinsgate actually. Steinsgate, that's the um, back in time thing. One episode of Steinsgate, and I, I couldn't get to it. But don't worry, I'm gonna get back to it. Uh, I've got like three uh, anime before it that I have to finish. One of which I am about to finish, but I will be getting to it. Don't worry. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary, literary, literary career. Of course, I messed up that word. Then, two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of everyone's hottest men. <laughs> Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and all her books are instant bestsellers. Okay. I'm pretty sure they passed, uh, they banned stuff past chapter one for Steins Gate. So you need to check what on it. Oh, is it got like some sort of uh, nudity, nudity or something? It's quite a rage, yeah. Uh, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? 
but I figured she'd be lovey-dovey time. With what with her master of peace being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? what? It's not polite to stare, you know. <laughs> what the heck? Stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. She's Sundari to the fucking max, isn't she? Or is she? Oh, she, I mean, she could be Sundari, or she could be a fucking Yandere, and I just don't know about it yet. F filthy creature? No, I just thought. <laughs> I know what you just thought. You just thought you've never seen an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. Fun? You're not that bad looking. You're like average. No, no that's not what I was thinking at all. I I'm telling you. Yeah, I know official Kieran. I know it's meant to be really, really fucking good. And I've been told that, um, like, cause I, I normally I give anime or any, anything I watch three episodes. And if I don't get caught in those three episodes, I will not watch it. With that, I only gave it the one, because um, I can't remember what was happening. Something was happening at the time, and I couldn't, I didn't have time for it. Um, I think it's when I got to my full, like, first job, and I was just working all the time. Um, so I gave it one, I just didn't have time to continue it. But yeah, I am going to go back, because, like you said, a lot of people put it on, like, their greatest anime of all time. Apparently, it's really, really good. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Wh whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow. Talk about an inferior inferiority complex. I, I was way off about being this, uh, what a successful author would be like. All right. Let's talk to the big man. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Okay, I'm gonna call you Taka. I hope that's cool. Ultimate moral compass. Okay. So, this is Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless ownership. He's also known for the work he's done with his community public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else and the title of ultimate moral compass mm. okay mm. Uh, 10 for me one of three uh ten, okay one of my three 10 out of 10 oh i don't even know if i've watched that many anime yet like i forgot a whole bunch but i don't think i've watched 400 man that's a that's honestly impressive like and I, it ranks th like jeez it's one of your three 10 out of 10s out of 400 anime. All right, I really, I will go watch it then. Like, Jesus Christ. What's the other two? I'm curious. I'm really curious what your other two uh, 10 out of 10s are. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? Oh, and to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it. Life is without, life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right? This guy is kind of annoying. I know. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. I don't know if I want to talk to this guy. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Hey, we got swearing. I like this better. I thought, because he said frickin' earlier, and I was like, are they really gonna be that guy here? But nope, they got swearing. I like it. Ultimate Riker gang leader. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest uh, biker gang in Japan. Shigatsu wa Kimo no Uso, um... What is that? Because I, I know it, but I, I know the title, but I won't. I probably know the translation better. Clan Adapter Story. Oh, don't even mention that shit, man. It breaks my heart every time I think about it. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. To Jojo. Um, you're lying, April. Okay, yeah, that breaks my heart, too. That's, fuck. Uh... 
Oh, what, Jojo from like, uh, Bizarre Adventures? Uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventures, or whatever it's called. I mean, I guess he has got the, uh, he's, he's got the hair from, um, oh, what's his fucking name? Oh, what's it called? Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho? You know, there's that guide, I think it's Yu Yu Hakusho, he's got the, the hair like that. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I keep wanting to, I, I want to give this guy the, uh, the voice from, uh, you know, that guy goes, SCIENCE BITCH! But I can't. It's already taken. I'd better be careful around him. One wrong, wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the ocean. Or says C, but fuck it. Oh, I wanted him to talk more. He swore. Hey, girl. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. That smile, though. She, f she, she looks like she's forcing that shit. Anyone would recognize this one. Look at her with that eye patch. I see. I've seen pictures of her everywhere. Got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? I'm sorry, but she's gonna be a valley girl. She has to be. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with like computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally! It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of old cover photos. It's true. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make their eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks ceramic. And porcelain. I almost forgot how to say ceramic. That was close. I was like, ceramic? Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> Who's she? I don't. I, I have no idea what she could be. Is she the psychic? Silent. My kind of woman. Um. Can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri's just fun to say. Okay, so I don't know what she is. She's pretty tight lipped, huh? Her name didn't show up anywhere in Fortune. Okay. She seems, uh. And I did. I did see that there were students like me. Once who didn't have any real identity. She, uh. She strikes me as. What's the word I'm looking for? And then, well, I'll, I'll just say an anomaly for now. Everyone else has this ultimate thing, ultimate thing, I'm ultimately lucky. And yet she's just there. She kind of just, she's, yeah, the anomaly. She stands out, and I don't like that. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so, what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're... Some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to yeah. tell me. No, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. <laughs> the ultimate Mary Sir, huh? Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. I want to see the psychic person! Please! Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Is she the same age as us? She looks tiny. Ultimate programmer. The programmer is a woman? This is cool. I like this. 
kind of get embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it was just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for... Did you see that? I fucking... I fucking nailed that name! Chihiro Fujisaki. I'm surprised at myself. Sorry, back to the... Back to the game. Is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared her to her legions of fans. Um... Hey. So, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing um... for now? Well, just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lo lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> Glad. I'm so to understand why our friends are so into her. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting to know our character's type, huh? Well, I guess he's just into women in general. <laughs> Heya! He's me. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Alright, she's your tomboy. Gotcha. And I guess she's the ultimate track star. Swimming pro, okay. Ayo Asha Asahina. See, uh, how can I name that previous... How can I, like, nail that previous name and then fuck up with that? Asahina. How is that hard? She's been breaking records in every school competition. She's been in... Uh, since elementary school. I am not good with reading, guys. She's ever... Uh, she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic can uh, cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions <laughs> has been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto, Makoto Naigi? <laughs> oh yeah, I knew that. It was something like that. No, not something like that. It, it is that. You got it! Sure, sure. Got it. Here, I'll have it into my brain right now. Yeah! Mokoto Nagi. Mokoto Nagi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm. Like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you just got to write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Sim. Hey, by the way, how do you spell out your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Um, well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easy going and bursting with energy. Those four over there are the only ones left. I can't wait to get to him slash her. She's just interesting. She's got to be the psychic, right? I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. She's a robot. I'm calling it she a robot. Ugh. That is killing my ear. There we go, that's better. Ultra cut. Fuck! Celestia Ludenberg. <laughs> Lundenberg, Lundenberg, it is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? Heh <laughs> heh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Lundenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. Self-styled Celestia Lundenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. 
Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earned the title Queen of Liars. That's a title I, I would be impressed by, to be honest. Uh, let's continue here. Back in one minute, guys. Just got to handle something real fast. Gonna just quickly pop off. Oh, sorry about that. I also found out that it is my uh, my old man's birthday. So, yeah. Let's jump back in. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking in their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> Smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. He has. I hope she's the psychic, but I know she's not. She's probably the uh, like ultimate fighter or something. This guy straight I'm up Yasuhiro reminds me of the guy from uh, Samurai Champloo. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah. I know I will. Okay, he's the surfer guy. Oh, the clear one. Yeah, we finally beat the psychic guy. Yasuhiro Hagakure, also known as Supernova, is the psychic community. The trend setting ultimate clairvoyant. Okay. Honestly, I don't really get all the fortune telling stuff, it's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, uh, okay, bro. I give up. Huh? What happened? For serious? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with like a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a sky fish in its mouth, bro. And the guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should totally grab some brewski sometime, bro. And get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. Been held back a few times, see, and well, <laughs> it's a long story, bro. A few times. Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Okay, so that guy's an idiot. Name's Byakuya Togami. Byakuya Togami. Whenever I hear Byaki, I just think Kuchki. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about that. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byaki Togami. I literally just heard it and fucked it up. He's the heir, the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing businesses, uh, business operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny, progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. Everything, uh, that's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy Come on. Line. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? He's going to be English. I'm making this guy English. Go away, I'm sick of looking at you. Ugh, need to sort out this. Otherwise I can't see chat. There we go. Ugh. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Ooh. Finally, we I get am to Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. I like her. Ultimate martial artist. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. A 
but now I remember she's competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought, fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Alright, she can fucking kick ass, good. That thread has also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates. The framed missing link. Any incoming Hope, uh, Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey! Hey, you! Uh, yes? I snapped her attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod on my body. Um, what are you doing? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Hmm. I don't know what that voice is. Don't, don't question it. Hmm. What a shame. You're not all, at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. That's fair. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of uh, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed balloon uh, baboons. Dull-eyed balloons? What am I saying? Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, y you see... Uh, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened, and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after a bunch of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here. In the school. That's what happened to you, right? But, but that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! That's not exactly the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classrooms and hallways were, right? I, I, the voices are never going to be the same, guys, ever. If it triggers you, let me know, and I'll stop. But instead of a normal, but instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates with. A, what's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, either. <clears throat> and then there's the main hall here. The front exit's completely blocked by some giant metal latch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck is it doing here? Mm -hmm. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. Is it? Like... Well, what? Like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off? And we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on. Don't think like that. Cheer up, bro. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh? Well, if that's all it is... It's time for a nap. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension at that point. But then, it began. Oh. My chair is fucking with me. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well yes. then. Oh. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. Type the best character, huh? 
It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay. <gasps> what the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! H hey! What are you- You're gonna just take off like that? Could it be? Oh. Yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped up for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this were real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. I wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they have to go kill the mood? Huh? But wait for me. I wanna go with you. <laughs> That's just that. Then, I'll see you there. Anyway... N not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off at the gym, and I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um... This doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, uh, that announcement was uh, totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put here doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. I see. If we... If we do not move forward, we will learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I... I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda... N no? Really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. That said, to the gym we go, right? Yeah, that's safe. Yup. Yup. Okay, so we still have a bunch of people here. Alright. Well. I didn't give this guy a voice. I did voices before. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? That's gonna be his voice. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. Are they just gonna repeat things they've just said? Listen. I know how you feel, but all we can do is check it out, right? Uh, um... Something weird is going on here, right? It's not just me. <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? What the hell kind of game are they playing? Can I, can I look at the trophies? No? This is bad. What was with that announcement? That was like totally creepy. Okay, is there anyone else? Can we? No. Alright, well, I guess. Leave the area? Yes. head for the cafeteria, right? Or have I forgot? I suck at these things. Leave me alone. The gymnasium, that was it. And it was one of them. Hey, come on! God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was gonna be such a pain in my balls! Pain in my balls, that's something I've never heard before. I've never heard someone use that. It's a phrase, or a turn of speech. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um... And why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plate sound later, I'm sure of it. Huh. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I feel like she's just gonna be quoting proverbs and shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it! 
Hey! Where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Bondo, stop running! Well then... I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for more tutorial action. You can press tab key to observe the room you're in. Observing will display what type, what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late noise. Oh, so I just, I just, okay. Total silence. For whatever reason, she's the only one managing to stay calm. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. Does that mean I can, uh, yeah, the sword. And split case, they're all kind of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all students who go here are ultimate killer waves. Fuck off, Jebs. Of course, all the students who go here are the ultimate, right? So this is place just for a tiny fraction of the rewards. Alright. Um. Uh, where are all the students? Why are we the only ones here? I don't know. I don't know. This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. The school has a lot of TVs. They couldn't all just be for weird school broken. I think that's exactly what they're for, actually. Let's go. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, told ya, it's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. Hero was right, but in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? here he comes. Good! Then let's get things rolling! Got saying! Is that a penis huh? or a belly bomb? Uh, teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! Monokuma. And I am this school's headmaster! The strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? 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 That teddy bear can talk! C calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? <laughs> what? It moved. <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. <sighs> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mar Mariana Trench. Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate it. Or even comprehend it. Bear it! <sighs> but don't make me say that stuff. That might destroy Das's dreams. I just couldn't bear that. Well. Bear? That? Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get started. Come on. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quite down now. Quite down. Ah, okay, so. Huh. He has abandoned the gag. Good morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. You hear me? Good morning! What 
that's your problem. You don't have to say it back. Now then. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. Firstly, let's take a bit about what our school life will be like here. Now, ah, make no mistake. You few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together, slowly, solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. Huh. Now then, regarding the end date of this communal life. Too bad. There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die. Such is the school life you've been assigned. <laughs> what, what, what did he just say? Uh, until you die? Yep. Oh, but fear not. We have quite an abundant budget, so you are black for all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. Th that's at least... <laughs> that's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell. You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true. I'm not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you could be 100% sure. Uh-huh. I don't know if I can believe that. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond those walls ever again. Cut off? Saw those metal plates all over the school. They're there to keep us trapped here. That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you yell or scream for help, help will not come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on. What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever is behind it all. Just This is a really bad joke. Damn you. Yeah, cut this shit out. It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you. What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you were taught not, uh, to talk to doubt your neighbor. Well, you have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope Peaks Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave. Hey, um... Oh, but, you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There's one way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As headmaster, I've cra crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now then. Now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain the environment of harmony here, we rely on communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they, are, uh, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation class. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, indeed! Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crashing, hacking, drowning, igniting, or how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices going. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world, but you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so darn exciting. What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other, it's, it's, huh? to kill each other, it's to kill each other. I'm sure there is a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We 
know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do you have to kill each other? Say what? Yeah. Stop blabbering on about this nonsense. And let us go home already. I feel like it's a perfect voice for him. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world, got it? Yeah! And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead and go on a killing, kill, kill, kill killing spree. <sighs> Alright, come on. How long are you going to keep this up? Hmm? Huh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So, you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick, alright? So, uh, like... <laughs> Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of the uh, Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead! Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What, you mean like your hair? Savage! You son of a bitch! Fuck! <laughs> Mondo roared out and there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of floorboards as he kicked and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma as fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! I feel like this is fair. Hey, damn it! Is he gonna blow Piece up? Piece of shit! Watch blow out. away! Huh? Hurry up and throw it, yeah! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what. Without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. And as soon as he did, yeah, that that that's obviously what's gonna happen. The hell? What the? That sure shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. That was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Oh wait, this is this is me. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I'd never seen anything like it. What? But, but you know. This means the teddy bear has been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. Huh? Whoa! There's another one. D damn you! Son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now? Of course. Whoa. Well, yes. I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one rule uh, of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you'd better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on a butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around here somewhere? Yep. Bono Kumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you just saw what happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> And I won't be so forgiving with my next punishment next time. So don't let that happen again. Huh? That's not even punishment, that's just wrong. Well? <laughs> this is killing my voice. Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. Ta -da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital. So naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. Um, well, yes, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to any healthy uh, school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. What? 
also is completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space age design, it can withstand an impact force of up to 10 tons, very resistant. It contains all of your school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. New guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed! The same thing applies here, which is why it's so crucial to have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Bye-bye! Please enjoy our abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone leaving us all in a state of shock. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We, we don't have to live here forever. Or, or King Kill. Or what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. Firstly, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice one is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... <laughs> this is just... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what this is. All these ridiculous things we've heard, it all has to be fake. Hmm. Right, now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who seriously considers all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. Ooh, and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules all of Kuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us became suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder if somebody got a chance. That was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high. It's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Prologue, welcome to despair. The end. Okay. So, is my goal in this game to just make sure everyone survives or is it to determine who's killing who I don't know well let's watch this again I love the music in this it's really cool Okay, Trigger Happy Havoc Danganronpa. 
prologue is done. Oh, oh I got an item. Received school crest present. Uh, right, I think I'm going to be ending the stream there, guys. Um, it's been a good a fucking long time, actually. Uh, trying to, how long has it been? Uh, it's been an hour and a half. It's, it's been a pretty decent uh, time period, so I figure I'll end it there, and uh, I'll upload this all to YouTube, and uh, see how it goes. But thank you all for watching. Um, I've been the bear. I'm going to go hyper eat fish, do beer things, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I, I had a pretty good time playing this. So yeah, see you.